Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am not here with Geeky Sparkles, so I'm going to talk about Space Daddy. Elon Musk is threatening to pull the deal. He's threatening to pull out of the Twitter deal. He says that Twitter has not produced sufficient evidence uh, to, to assure him that he's not buying a pig in a poke, that most of Twitter is not fake or half of Twitter is not fake. Remember, you know, when, when they announced the deal that uh, Musk said he was told that Twitter was 95% real and 5% fake. And it turns out that uh, he believes it's significantly more fake than that. And of course, that's going to affect his offer. Who's going to pay $44 billion for a fake ass website, especially with all the tech stocks crumbling right now. Uh, so he might back out or this could be a play to uh, you know, get a better deal, or he could be doing this just to give Twitter a very, very public black eye with the support of his friend Jack Dorsey. Whatever is going on here, I don't think Twitter is going to come out of this situation unscathed. Whether or not Elon Musk actually winds up buying Twitter, uh, tw the damage has been done. It's kind of like the mainstream media we've been talking about with the Johnny Depp situation. The damage to Twitter has been done, and that might have been the point. The point might have been to give Twitter a black eye and then go start a competitor with that money for a fraction of that money. Who knows? Anyway, we're going to talk about it. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Over 269,000 subs. Thank you so much for the support. We've been following the Twitter situation because, again, Twitter is ground zero for cancel culture. Twitter is where the media uh, tends to stir the shit, um, you know, and they definitely have a, a pretty cozy relationship with a lot of these media outlets. And um, Elon Musk threatening to buy Twitter sent a lot of people into a panic. A lot of blue checks just lost their freaking minds at the thought of somebody like Elon Musk owning the platform. Just a couple of years ago, they all loved him. Dude was making electric cars. Dude was sending us to space. And now we've got hit pieces like this in Vanity Fair. A reminder of just some of the terrible things Elon Musk has said and done. You got to be reminded that he's a bad person. So anyway, this is coming from CNBC. Musk accuses Twitter of resisting and thwarting his right to information on fake accounts. Uh, Elon Musk accused Twitter of resisting and thwarting his right to information about fake accounts. In a letter to Twitter, a lawyer for Musk called it a clear material breach of the terms of their merger agreement. Musk waived due diligence when he agreed to buy Twitter at $54.20 a share in April. So Mr. Musk reserves all rights resulting therefrom, including his right not to consummate the transaction and his right to terminate the merger agreement. The letter signed by his attorney, uh, Mike Ringler, says Twitter shares are down 5% on Monday. Musk waived due diligence when he moved to buy the company, seemingly to hasten the acceptance of his bid. I don't think that was very smart. Personally, I would have I would have had it checked, but I think he was in such a, a rush to buy Twitter. Unless this is 4D chess and this is uh, you know not his end game. This is not what he planned. He wrote in a letter to Twitter chairman Brett Taylor on April 24th, as we discussed, 5420 has been and will remain my best offer. Final offer, period. This is binary. My offer will either be accepted or I will exit my position as a board member. He was going to come on to the board and then he decided not to come on to the board because he wanted the whole damn thing. He didn't want to be limited to 15% of the, uh, the stock. Twitter announced the company had accepted his offer the next day. Twitter employees freaked the hell out. But the weeks that followed, Musk vocally criticized Twitter during media interviews and on Twitter where he has tens of millions of followers. He announced in May that his $44 billion purchase of the company would not move forward until he had more information about the number of fake accounts on the service. On May 17th, the Tesla and SpaceX CEO suggested Twitter had included bad information in its financial filings. Again, this whole thing might be about just destroying Twitter just completely and uh, with Jack Dorsey's blessing. He wrote, my offer was based on Twitter's SEC filings being accurate. Yesterday, Twitter's CEO publicly refused to show proof of less than 5% uh, bots, that is. This deal cannot move forward until he does. He says team would do a random sampling to calculate the number of fake accounts, but Twitter's CEO later explained that non-public information would be necessary to get an accurate account. Um, 
Twitter executives told staff there's no such thing as putting the deal on hold, as Musk claimed, according to a report in Bloomberg. Some analysts interpreted Musk's moves as a negotiation tactic for a lower price. Yeah, all the all the tech stocks are bottoming out right now. Musk has complained about scams, bots, and fake accounts on Twitter for years. In July 2018, Musk wrote a pair of tweets. I want to know who is running the Ethereum scam bots, Mad Skills. And later, lots of fake accounts on Twitter characterized by high following follower ratio make it seem like many real people when it isn't. I wonder why. A uh, proposed class action lawsuit in California filed in May also contends that Musk broke California law by making investors doubt whether he would complete the deal uh, after signing a contract to buy it. Shareholders involved in the complaint want Musk to complete the deal as promised, buying Twitter at $54.20 a share. In Monday's letter, Musk's lawyer wrote that the merger agreement requires Twitter to provide the data Musk requested and disputed the company's alleged claim that is only required to provide information for the limited purpose of helping to close the transaction. Uh, to the contrary, Mr. Musk is entitled to seek, and Twitter is obligated to provide information and data for any reasonable business purpose related to the consummation of the transaction. At this point, Mr. Musk believes Twitter is transparently refusing to comply with its obligations under the merger agreement. Can't imagine why. Can't imagine why they wouldn't want to give up that information, uh, which is causing further suspicion that the company is withholding the requested data due to concern for what Mr. Musk's own analysis of that data will uncover. You're going to find out that Twitter is freaking fake. It's probably 30, 40, 50 percent fake. According to the letter, Musk would agree to ensure anyone reviewing the data would be bound by a non-disclosure agreement and he would not use any competitively sensitive information if the deal doesn't close. Twitter has and will continue to cooperatively share information with Mr. Musk, uh, Mr. Musk to consummate the transaction in accordance with the terms of the merger. The company said, we believe this agreement is in the best interest of the shareholders. We intend to close the transaction and enforce the merger agreement at the agreed price and terms. In a separate matter, the SEC is investigating Musk, asking why the celebrity CEO did not follow Schedule 13G form. Well, there's all kinds of shit coming out. Yeah, because the media doesn't like him very much. They really don't. They've got, they're keeping score of all the awful things that Elon Musk uh, has done. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my God. There's a whole bullet pointed list of, <sighs> here, here's just, here's just some of the, the grievances the media has with Elon Musk. In March of 2020, uh, people worried, people that worried about the coronavirus were dumb. In March of uh, 2020, the U.S. was going to have close to zero new cases by the end of April. Uh, questioning the safety of the vaccines and baselessly asserting that there were quite a few negative reactions to getting a second shot. Uh, likening Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau to Hitler, saying the U.S. government shouldn't provide subsidies to companies after receiving billions in subsidies from the U.S. government. Using Twitter to engage in securities fraud. Tweeting pronouns suck. That, that makes him awful. Tweeting misogynistic things at Senator Elizabeth Warren because she said he should pay more in taxes. Writing to Bernie Sanders, who also thinks the richest man in the world should pay more taxes. I keep forgetting that you're still alive. Tweeting dumb sexist jokes. Tweeting a photo of Bill Gates and writing in case you need to lose a boner fast. <laughs> Come on, that's funny. That's funny. That's funny. Tweeting in 2018 that Tesla factory workers could lose their stock options if they unionized, basically accusing a British cave diver instrumental in rescuing a trapped football team of being a pedo guy because he likes others. Uh, like others, said Musk's idea to send in, in the submarine wouldn't work. <laughs> Offline, reopening a Tesla factory in violation of public health orders. God, it just goes on. Tesla, 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 Tesla. Employees have called it a modern day sweatshop, Tesla. Um, and this is before this is before he said, if you don't come to work in the office, I'm going to fire you. So I'm sure she's going to add that to her list. Uh, paying a private investigator $50,000 to dig up dirt on the the cave diver he called the pedo guy. Only $50,000? This is Elon Musk. He's got way more money than that. 50 grand? Hell, I could pay somebody 50 grand to dig up dirt on somebody. Depends on who it is. Depends on how bad I want to get dirt on them. But um, yeah, I uh, I don't know, guys. This is going to get pretty ugly. I don't know if he's going to get Twitter or not at this point. I mean, if he doesn't get Twitter, it's over. Like, Twitter's done. I think, I think the point was to damage the credibility of the website um you know whether or not he's actually going to walk away with it i have no idea 
Um, but I, I would not pay 40, if I had $44 billion, I would not pay $44 billion for a site that is half fake. In fact, I was trying to negotiate with a guy for a website that was significantly less than that, but it was highly trafficked back in the day. And uh, he wanted six figures for this website. And I'm like, dude, you do not have the traffic uh, that you used to have on this website. This is what I can offer. This is what I think the website's worth. I think it's actually a very, very fair offer. My final offer, take it or leave it. Uh, this individual said he had another person interested and that the offer was insulting. And actually, I don't think it was for what, you know, the, the state the site was in. I don't think it was an insulting offer. And uh, here we are like a year later and I just checked that site and uh, nobody has bought the site. <laughs> you know, it's actually uh, further in decline than it was when I made the offer. So anyway, anyway, there we go, guys. I don't know if Space Daddy's going to get Twitter or not, but uh, the drama continues for sure. And uh, I think we're going to see a lot of weird, weird shit as we get closer to the elections. Uh, for sure, Twitter was a battleground last time. And I think if he doesn't get it this time, it's going to be 10 times worse. Going to wrap it up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Now he's just tasty, delicious, rotten flesh meat, which I can consume. Don't read into it too much. Just like our museum, the cafe, it's open to Brewster and eager to serve. I don't think this was in the show. No, run, 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 run. Oh, oh you got splatted. No. Oh, wait, oh, wait, oh she was begging and what? you kicked her in the face. I don't care. Hey, guys. Squid King here, and today we're in a- Not girl boss, not girl boss at all. She is not a material girl. She is not. Oh, it's Christmas time here in your mom. Nobody wants to join your mom. What? Like I can't even cook kid cuisine right. I would last about two minutes with Gordon Ramsay. What? Where is he? He's hiding. He's hiding from you. He better. Oh my god, you got the axe. Walker, does this look like Steven Universe? Let me punch him. Well, I'm just here for the wax. Okay. Ah! Right where you belong. Get in the dirt. Well, that was a combination of events I probably shouldn't have put together. Anyways, let's open this bottle too. Chica Pinata. Is that official? Oh, no. There's a bootleg. Hello. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey guys, it's Diamond Tool. Let's make a farm. Like and subscribe and buy my merch. I mean, while you're here, you guys should like really like and subscribe and buy our merch, all of which we have. <laughs> that is true. Can't run him carrying trash. And you can get away with one F-bomb per PG-13 movie. Oh, I wish I'd yeah. known that sooner. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna wrap this effort up. Yes. <laughs>